Yep. Hey besties, we're back. So, hello everyone. I today we're making a candle for my friend Maya. I've been meaning to make her this for a long period of time, probably like two and a half weeks now, probably even three weeks, I don't know. But I have this vessel right here that we're gonna use. We're gonna make it a double wick candle. Let me use the bathroom, I'll be right back. Yes. And then we have these crystals, these citrine that we're gonna put in. We have the wax going. I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to teach you guys how to make a candle start to finish. If you've never made a candle at home, maybe you know you could use this as like a tutorial of some sort. So we're gonna get a warning label to put on the bottom. Be right back. So I mean if you're just gonna keep the candle for yourself, you don't have to do this, but if you're gonna give it to someone else, it's a good idea to put a warning label on the bottom. So we're gonna do that. Just in case something happens, because reminder, candles are on open flame. So this keeps you safe from having a lawsuit. So now you're gonna wanna put your wicks in. You can clean out the vessel with like a rag or a paper towel or I don't know, a wipe or something. So I'm gonna do that. So once you wipe it out, <laughs> you're gonna want some stickers for the wicks. Wicks? Is that so, to stick it down to the bottom? Yeah. Now, here's the gag, here's the thing. I have no idea what scent we're gonna make this. I have an idea, but I don't know what exact fragrances we're gonna add yet. Um, I know she really, really liked the Night of Lust candle. <gasps> so we're gonna make a scent very similar to that. Bad word. Because she loves, sit what, lust? Yes! We don't do lust in this household, thank you. I mean, we do in my household, but. So then you're gonna, once you have this sticker, <laughs> you, okay. you can use a machine for this, but I don't. I personally just like put them in and freehand because. <laughs> and then you kind of just push it down in there. I know you can't really see what I'm doing, but it's kind of self explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> you are so offended. You are so hurt. I'll, I'm let, you, very... I'll let you mix the fragrance oils. That's it. I let, yeah. Can you please throw these away for me, assistant? In this. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we have our wicked and prepped jar. Yeah. Sometimes you're going to want a wick centering device. Which looks like this. Some people use clips. You can you can just here. <laughs> Thank <it> you. <laughs> hmm. I don't know what to do. It's citrus. Yana, why doesn't it do the little um nee, nee thing anymore when you zoom it? I don't know. Maybe I broke the volume. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, she dyed her hair pink. What do you think? I'm obsessed with it. We're just trying to figure out what fragrance oils we want to use for her candle. I'm gonna put these back because they fucking fell when I grabbed them. I tried. Them. I just realized I don't know if I have a pouring pitcher clean, so I have to go wash one. ASMR. All right, guys. So we're gonna end this video and come back once I have a clean pouring pitcher, <laughs> and we will continue with the tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> that it's expensive it's really expensive okay so this is how you make a candle with multiple <laughs> in it so where's my phone
So first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna download the app Candle Pal. It looks like this. It's the one above Snapchat. Not sponsored. This is just. It's just there. You go calculate. Stop breaking my shit. So this jar, it's a 12 ounce jar. <laughs> but you can't fill it all the way to the brim because if you did, you wouldn't be able to put the lid on it. So you fill it with 11 ounces total. <laughs> so it's 10 ounces of wax and then one ounce of fragrance oil. But let's just say you didn't know that, right? So we go into Kindle Pal. You go ounces. You can use grams, but I've been I've been using ounces since the dawn of time. So <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't I apologize, boss. Do you approve my pod? You're gonna have to write an essay for me. Uh, uh -oh. And then I'm gonna have to go over it with HR, and we can really discuss it. There. <laughs> Number of vessels one. We only have one jar. Calculate. So now that we have one ounce of fragrance oil, we're mixing two oils. Yes. Right? You could do half and half, like you could do 50 and 50 to make it easy, but depending on what fragrance you want to be your top note versus your bottom note, you're gonna have to make one stronger than the other. So what I like to do personally is make one <laughs> 0 0.75, can I help you? And then make the other 0 0.25. So this is gonna be our bottom note. She said she likes citrus, so I'm I'm using orange spice. <laughs> You're gonna want like a little um scale like this. You're gonna turn it on. You're gonna wait until it says zero zero zero. <laughs> what are you looking at? I came to apologize. You already apologized, ma'am. I put your little, um, I buy these silicone cups from Amazon. Can you edit out my laughing? No, I'm keeping it all in. <coughs> We're gonna tear it. What? What are we ripping? No, Caitlin. Tear a scale means to, like, if you already have something on it, you press tear so that way it doesn't include the ounces of the jar. Did you know that? No. <gasps> oh. Well, now you do. Sorry for treating you like you're stupid. I thought you already knew that. You were just asking to be quirky. So you're going to pour this in, and then when it says 0 0.75, that's when you stop. <laughs> what? <laughs> David! Like, David don't want you. <clears throat> it's very meticulous. 77 is good enough. Ooh. If it's like one or two over, like it's fine. Like it's not the end of the world. Okay, okay, okay. okay Maybe I should like do this so you can see what I'm doing. For my visual learners out there. I am a visual learner. <laughs> okay. So just pour it in until it says be very, very. Gentle with it. So it says what? 0 0.25. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Put anything in there. Oh. <laughs> Did I put too much in? No, keep going. Keep going. A little bit more, yeah. A bit more. Okay, that's good. See, that one's 24. So we wanted 25, but we got what we wanted. See, that looks like we used half the jar, but we only used a fourth. But that's because she spilled a lot of it too. But that's okay. So now we're just gonna like line these up so that way we know which fragrance is which. Shut that off. Can you, um... <laughs> Sign a petition for me to stop giggling on camera. <gasps> I like your giggles. It means you're happy. <laughs> and it's important to always be happy in life. Can you throw this away for me, please? Bunny? Yeah, sure. 
Nico, Nico, Nico. Nico, Nico, Nico. Now's the fun part. Where you spill the candle wax all over yourself. You're gonna fill this jar. Hey, you see where it says 400? You're gonna fill the yes. wax until it gets to 400. All right. Is it hot? Oh, it's hot. Hotter than Daddy's speed wagon. How dare you? And we're gonna grab our thermometer. Oh, I wanna open it. The thermometer's so daddy delicious. Where'd I put this on the table? Yeah, just like right there. We're gonna wipe this down because it's kind of dirty. Get sterile, y'all. That's what she said. Stop! <laughs> Don't make those jokes, children. So now. The temperature in which you pour your fragrance oil in is very important because if you pour it in when it's too hot, like it's, it's going to, like, the fragrance isn't even going to be there. So, like, it's just going to melt away. So, stick that in there. That's what she said. <laughs> it will burn you with this thermometer. I'm trying to talk so you can see it. You want it to be in between, like, 160 and 180. When you pour the fragrance in. 162. Salad fingers. Okay, so it's at like 170. <clears throat> so that's good enough. Everything in Keanu's studio is just good enough. It's good enough. Like, I don't really have the patience for it. So, can I pour the wax? So, you're going to pour the bottom note first. So the note that's first when you smell it? No, it's the They pour it all at once? Yeah, just pour it all in there. Okay. Got that shaking around like I shook it. Now you're gonna take your top note and pour it in there. <coughs> no. Be very careful. <laughs> Wouldn't want the Wicked Witch of the West to come and knock a house on your body. I think that's how the movie goes, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen it in a while. Knock a house on your body! Imagine you're walking up from school and you see a house coming towards you at full speed. And, it's and speed now up. you're gonna stir it up. We're gonna really just like mix it. Like really just like mix it. You don't want to over. I'm getting it. dreamy. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube. I don't know if you guys can see me. Hello. A lot of videos. People are like stir it for two minutes exactly. No. And they set a timer on their phone and they stand there mixing it for two minutes. But my theory is. See, I pride myself in the sense that everyone says that they love the scent of my candles. It's very citrusy. <laughs> you can wear my um, mask if you want, that pink thing. You <laughs> have a hazmat suit. <laughs> a ventilator. See, my theory is... <laughs> You don't have to mix it for that long. How do I really, just because if you over mix it, then all the fragrance is gonna like Kiana, disintegrate. How do I tighten it? Uh, I don't know. You just wait like this. Oh, I don't know. No, I hold on. So you just mix it for like thirty seconds, and that's good enough, right? Stop mixing it. Okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and then you're just gonna pour it in the vessel. Do you want to do that, or do you want me to do it? Can you tighten your nose first? How did you do that? Okay, I'll pour it, okay? Okay. It Caitlin, be careful. All at once? Yeah. Just go gentle though, like go ham. Stop. Pour it until all of the wax is gone. Good. See, now you have a candle with multiple fragrance oils in it. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna let it cure and sit for a few hours. Let me not try to shake the table. Cause remember how I was like, we're gonna put the crystals in it. After it's settled, Just as hard. you take your heat gun, you melt the top into a full oh. wax pool, and then you put the 
candles. The candles. <laughs> then you sprinkled the crystals in it. Hey, y'all, I have a new earring. <laughs> that is dripping. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna come back to you guys when this is done curing. And then hopefully Maya likes the candle <laughs> when it's done. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Give I'll listen to this first. check back in a few hours. <laughs> Can we listen to the first few clips? Hey besties, so I know it's been such a long time since you've seen me or since we've talked, but I needed to get on here to let you know my next step. So I I know, believe me, I know, I you miss me so much, but I do have to explain what I'm doing here. So if you've never made a candle before, you would have no idea what I'm doing right now. But as you can see in the video, I'm just taking my heat gun and just melting the top layer of the candle wax until it reaches a full melt pool meaning like the entire top of it is all melted and then once that is done oh my god i lined that up perfectly i'm ripping open my crystals fyi be careful where you buy your crystals from because there's a lot of metaphysical shops out here selling plastic fake crystals and they're not real and you don't want to put plastic in your candles because obviously there's fire going on there so be extra careful where you get your crystals from i got these from makesy which is the vendor that i get my vessels from and my lids and stuff and things so makesy is good i recommend them so that's what i'm doing right here i'm just sprinkling the crystals on the top of the candle to make it nice and pretty and quirky and aesthetically pleasing to look at and i think i'm almost done I was taking a long periodically time. Sheesh. And I think I probably put too much in there. You don't have to put a whole lot. But there you go. There's the finished product. The final result. See? Wow, it looks so pretty. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.